Hey guys, welcome to the Max Invest YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing what Validiums and Volitions are. Now, Validiums and Volitions are some revolutionary technology and it's coming to the Ethereum Layer 2 space. Now, in my opinion, Validiums, Volitions and Rollups are all needed to let Ethereum scale to the entire world and I really do think that Ethereum as a blockchain alone can scale to meet the entire world's demands. So in today's video, I'm going to be discussing what these technologies are and why they can actually scale. Of course, if you enjoy the video, remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, join the Discord, and remember, nothing in this video is financial advice. So let's get into the video. The first thing that we need to go over is this picture. Now, this picture gives a very, very good overview of what exactly Ethereum is, how Ethereum is scaling, and how rollups, Validiums and Volitions all play a role in Ethereum scaling. As we can see, in the center we have Ethereum. Now, Ethereum has three different components to it. The Execution Layer, the Consensus Layer, and Data Shards. Now, the Execution Layer is essentially where transactions are executed. This is where a transaction is processed, executed, and finalized. Now, once that transaction is finalized, it is added to the blockchain. So this transaction is then added into a block and this goes into the consensus layer. Now, when these transactions are added to a block, these blocks are then validated. Every time a block is validated by the network, this is essentially consensus. So individuals who are staking their Ethereum are validating blocks and in reward for validating a block, they get given Ethereum. This is what happens with staking rewards. More and more Ethereum is issued over time in order to reward the stakers. So we've got the execution layer and the consensus layer down pat. Now, data shards is something that is coming to Ethereum in Ethereum 2.0. Essentially, what data shards are going to do is it's going to give Ethereum more space and more data availability. This means that rollups and volitions are able to post transaction data to the data shards and the data shards will hold all of this data. So this is the free components of Ethereum and these are very important in your understanding of what rollups, validiums and volitions all are. The first thing that we need to discuss is what rollups actually are. Now, I know that this video is titled Validiums and Volitions. However, we do need to go over what a rollup is first, as this is requisite in understanding Validiums and Volitions. So, essentially, a rollup is an Ethereum based layer 2. You may have stumbled across things like Arbitrum, Optimism, and Starknet. These are all layer 2 rollup solutions. Essentially, what a rollup will do is it will perform the transaction execution outside of the Ethereum main chain. So, these rollups will compute all of the transactions independently with their own sequences. Now, the benefit of doing this is that the transactions will be a lot faster and they will cost a lot less. However, these rollups need to be decentralized and secure, so what they will do is they will post all of the transaction data to the layer 1. Essentially, this means when the transactions are posted to the layer 1, that these rollups are secure and decentralized. All of the sequences on top of the rollups are not able to steal your funds. This is because all of your funds are constantly posted and secured by the layer 1. Of course, the layer one, in my opinion, is Ethereum, as Ethereum is one of the only chains that is actually taking this approach to scaling. Now, there's one thing that many people do not know about rollups. Rollups need to post two separate things to the Ethereum main chain. The first thing that a rollup needs to do is they need to post a proof to the Ethereum main chain. They need to post a little thing that shows that all of the transactions had been completed on the layer 2 and post it down to the main chain to get security. This is posted on the execution layer. However, a rollup also needs to post something else, and this is called cool data. Now, cool data is essentially all of the data within the transactions. This could be user balances and a lot of other different things. Now, this data is all compressed down and posted to the main chain. As you can see here, rollups post a proof to the execution layer and then they post transaction data to the data shards. So the data shards are essentially there for transaction data to be collected and stored on the chain. And this is essentially how a rollup works. 
Now, validiums and volitions differ to rollups a little bit because they store the transaction data in a slightly different way, and we'll get into that right now. The first thing that I'm going to be discussing is volitions, and this is essentially because volitions really are the best of all worlds. Now, the article that I'm getting here is from Polonia, and I do recommend that you check out some of his content. So, what Polonia says is he says that rollups are wonderful. They make transactions on the Ethereum network 90 to 99% cheaper, which is absolutely amazing. However, volitions can actually optimize even more, and transactions can get even cheaper and even faster through the use of a volition. Volitions are very similar to rollups, however, they have one minor difference. Like a rollup, a volition is a layer 2 on top of Ethereum that is designed to make Ethereum cheaper and make Ethereum faster. Also, like a rollup, a volition will compute all of the transactions off chain and then it will post a proof that these transactions happen to the main chain. So, volitions commit state roofs and proofs to the Ethereum network, which is just like a rollup. However, there is one key difference. If you remember, I said that rollups need to post two different types of data to the Ethereum network. A rollup needs to post call data, and a rollup needs to post a proof to Ethereum. Now, unlike a rollup, a volition essentially allows users to choose where they post their transaction call data. Users can choose if they want to post their transaction call data to the layer 1, or they can choose if they want to post their call data to another data availability solution. Now, this is a massive innovation because essentially what the Volition can do is it can choose to post the most important data to the layer 1 and the less important data off the layer 1. Essentially, a Volition will go, alright, the, the proofs need to be posted to the layer 1. The Volition will then look at the call data and then it will say, alright, this call data is more important, we're going to post this call data to the layer 1, and we'll post this other call data which is less important off-chain. Essentially, what this will then do is it will free up space on the layer 1, and it'll make it move a lot quicker and a lot faster. This will allow the Volition to bring extremely cheap fees to its users. There already are Volitions on top of Ethereum. One of these Volitions is Immutable X. Immutable X is a layer 2 designed for NFTs, and it costs $0 to mint an NFT, showing how cheap a Volition can actually be. Now, the next Volition that I can think of is ZK Sync. ZK Sync is essentially a universal Volition, and it is quite cool. The way that ZK Sync works is ZK will, of course, commit a state root and a proof to the Ethereum network, like all rollups and Volitions. However, users get a choice to be either a ZK rollup or a ZK porter. Essentially, if users want their data to be unbelievably secure, they can choose to commit their data to the Ethereum layer 1. This means that ZK Sync is acting like a normal rollup. All of the call data and all of the proofs are going on to layer 1. However, if, if users want transactions that are faster and cheaper, then users can actually choose to commit their data to a ZK porter. So, what actually is the ZK porter? Well, essentially, a ZK porter is what ZK Sync have built to hold some of the data. ZK Porter is an external data availability solution. Now, the ZK Porter is essentially being used to store all of the call data that users don't really care that much about. Of course, this makes Ethereum a little bit less bloated and this makes things a lot faster and a lot cheaper. Now, one interesting thing about ZK Porter is the ZK Porter, the data availability solution, actually inherits a lot of security from Ethereum because the ZK Porter also commits a state route to Ethereum. As a direct result, this makes the Volition very secure and very, very fast, which is an absolutely massive innovation in the space. So, this ex essentially explains what Volitions actually are. So, let's take a look at what Validiums are. Now, if you understood what Volitions actually are, you will very easily understand Validiums. Essentially, with a Volition, you get the choice or the Volition of where you want to post your data. With a Volition, you need to post a proof to the Layer 1, and then you get to choose if you want to post the call data also to the Layer 1, just like a rollup, or if you want to post the call data off-chain. Now, with a Validium, you don't get that choice. 
With a validium, you post the proof to the layer one, and then you post the call data off chain. You cannot post the call data on chain. So in my opinion, validiums are just a worse version of Felicians, and this is why I like to mainly focus on Felicians. Validiums don't give you that choice, and they're not as versatile as Felicians. However, a Validium is just as cheap as a Volition and sometimes even cheaper with all of the data going off chain. So the best way to wrap this video up is to come back to our trusty graph. As we can see, rollups post proofs to the execution layer and then they post transaction data to the data shards. Now, Volitions like rollups also post proofs to the execution layer, however they get to choose where they want to post the transaction data. They can choose to post it to the data shards for the more important transactions, or they can choose to post it off-chain. Now, with something like ZK Sync, they post it off-chain onto something called ZK Porter, which stores all of the data for them. Now, as we can see in the top right of the screen, there's Validians. They post all of the proofs to the execution layer and then they post the transaction data externally. So this overall, this graph sums up what rollups, Validians and Volitions all are. Now, my overall thesis is that about 90 to 100% of all of the activity on every blockchain is going to be done on rollups and volitions. I really do believe that every single thing will be done on rollups and volitions, and we're going to be using Ethereum for execution, consensus, and data availability. Anyway, this brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching the video.